Hi, this is Pauline, and this is a, another response, video response, video discussion for my social ethics class. And this one is about the trolley problem. And basically the scenario in the trolley problem is that you are driving a trolley and you're on the tracks and you're heading towards what you see as five workers that are repairing the tracks and you try to step on the brakes and the brakes aren't working but you have the decision to steer right and unfortunately if you steer right though there's one worker that's repairing the tracks so the dilemma is do you just let the trolley go and let sort of nature take over what would have naturally happened, which is you hit and kill the five workers? Or do you make the decision to steer to the right and ultimately kill just the one worker? So that's the dilemma. And I think that the problem between the two because my first reaction was, oh my gosh, of course I'm going to steer to the right because I'd rather, I mean, I wouldn't want to kill anybody, but I'd rather it be one person than five, right? But the problem in the scenario is that it's, it's asking whether or not you would let something naturally happen. Because if you did not, if you did not steer the trolley, then you actually, you didn't actually kill those five people because you didn't actually do anything. You just let it naturally happen. But if you veer to the right, you actually made a decision and acted on it and therefore you're responsible for killing that one person. I think that the trolley problem is as easy as honestly taking a utilitarian approach. The greater number of people happy and I feel bad for saying that, but it is what it is. That's what I think. Uh, while, like I said, the dilemma is taking actual action to kill one person rather than naturally because of the laws of physics or, you know, how it happened that your brakes weren't working, you're naturally allowing five people to die. I think that our free will, which kind of ties into the other video that I just made, which was uh, free will versus determinism, I think that free will allows us to make a conscious decision as to what we think is morally right. So one of the videos that our professor had us watch for this dilemma in, in the video, it talks about a heavier set man on a bridge that in the same in the same trolley scenario that you could push off the bridge to stop the trolley from hitting the five people. And as horrible and morally wrong as it sounds, it would still make more sense because you would save the five people at the cost of one. I think the scenarios are just very different. In the original trolley scenario, it's almost as though you made the morally correct choice because at that moment, at the moment, it seems like you, you don't have a better choice and you may have acted on instinct. With the heavier set man being pushed off the bridge to stop the trolley, it's almost as though you had to really think about that decision and really had to think about killing this man and make an extra effort to push the man after your decision was made. However, both scenarios are essentially still this with the same dilemma. You made the choice to kill one person rather than allowing five people to die naturally without you doing anything. If anything, I believe a person should be held more responsible for not doing anything 
and allowing the worser of the two to occur. So this one was kind of a difficult one. I mean, I don't know, would you guys, you know, just allow the trolley to keep going and kill the five people and say, hey, it wasn't my fault because my brakes wouldn't work, so it wasn't my fault and that's why these five people died? Or would you take the responsibility of steering to the right and saving the five, but making, acting on your decision to kill the one person and then therefore you're responsible. So it's kind of like, oh, it's not my fault, but more people died versus, oh, it is my fault, one person died, but I, I saved the five. So this is a hard one. And I don't think I have anything else to say about it. I think I'd be one of the people that would steer right. So that's it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.